Hi friends, warm welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss another very very interesting topic. As you know, central banks or an introduction or an outline of our central bank, you know, Reserve Bank of India. And in this video that I designed as part 1 for banking 2 under BA Economics as your complimentary paper under Calicut University. And it is also very very useful for UPSC experience, KAS and also for other PSC examinations. Let me start with a simple question. What is a central bank? Or how can you define a central bank? We know that the central bank is the apex bank. That is top level institution in a country to implement monetary policies. You know monetary policy is the policy designed and chalk out or implement by the central bank of the country other type policy which is known as fiscal policy that come under the central government okay and uh, the central bank is the leader of the money market which guides regulate and control the banking structure of the country and assist or help the country to achieve growth with price stability by regulating and stabilizing the economy and controlling you know economic evils like inflation or deflation and so on and uh, we have uh, so many central banks in different countries and its name simply varies from country to country for example the most powerful central bank in the world you know of course it is it is the federal reserve system which is the central bank of america it is also popularly known as fed okay and in uk we can see bank of england that is the central bank of uk in india it is reserve bank of india in china it is known as people's bank of china and uh, another simple thing is that which is the oldest central bank in the world no doubt it is rich bank in sweden that is Rich Bank of Sweden, which is the oldest central bank in the world that was founded in 1668. In the Rich Bank of Sweden, the Rich Bank of Sweden is bank of the Rich Bank. The Rich Bank the Rich Bank of Sweden. Economics in a Nobel Prize are the mighty per capita. anniversary Nobel Prize for Economics. That's the Nobel Prize Economics in the Central Bank on Sweden, Rich Bank. Okay. Now, uh, a simple definition of central bank that is given by ACL Day, who defined a central bank as an institution to help control and stabilize the monetary and the banking system. It is not for profit hunting institution. It is not uh, uh, for uh, maximizing profit. But you know, it is the institution for what? To assist a nation to attain price stability and thereby economic growth, which is essential for employment generation and uh, flourish economic activities and boost economic activities and so on. And uh, another definition that is, you know, given by Bank for International Settlements, BIS, in its statutes. Uh, which define a central bank as the bank of the country to which has been entrusted the duty of regulating the volume of currency and credit in that country. Suppose if a nation needs more currency to boost their economic activities, then the central bank takes monetary policy that is expansionary monetary policy by uh, giving more fund to productive activities through relaxed sections in loans by cutting repo rate or cutting 
cash reserve ratio or statutory liquidity ratio and so on if the nation faces uh, some problems like inflationary pressures then the central bank you know hike the bank rate or crr or repo rate and thereby reduce the circulation of currency and thereby ensure price stability okay i will see you know a simple definition of central bank first one you know given by SELD and another one you know BIS that is bank for international settlements okay now what about the reserve bank of india no doubt rbi is the apex institution of the monetary segment of india that is rbi formulates implements and monitors the monetary policy of the country its objectives are to maintain public confidence in the system protect depositors interest and provide cost effective banking services to the public you know the main goal of rbi is you know regulate the banking mechanism and uh, uh, you know uh, circulate the currency or issue the currency regulates uh, or control economic fluctuations like inflation and deflation and also you know maintaining public confidence upon the banks and so on and these are the main aims or objectives of rbi in india that is we can simply say rbi has to ensure an adequate flow of credit to productive sectors okay now you know rbi we need to understand some points very very simple points it is also very useful for objective type questions and uh, the first thing is that these are the key points to digest okay the rbi was set up on the basis of the recommendations of the commission on indian currency and finance which is also known as hilton young commission ഇന്ത്യയില് ബ്രിട്ടീഷുകാരുടെ കാലത്താണ് ബ്രിട്ടീഷ് കൊളോണിയൽ അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേഷൻ്റെ സമയത്താണ് ആർ ബി ഐ നിലവിൽ വരുന്നത് ആ ആർ ബി ഐ സെറ്റപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടി റെക്കമെൻഡ് ചെയ്ത കമ്മീഷൻ്റെ പേരാണത് ഹിൽട്ടൺ യങ് കമ്മീഷൻ നയൻറ്റീൻ ട്വൻറ്റി സിക്സിലാണ് ആ കമ്മിറ്റിയുടെ ടൈറ്റിൽ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് കമ്മിറ്റി അറിയപ്പെട്ടിരുന്നത് കമ്മീഷൻ ഓൺ ഇന്ത്യൻ കറൻസി ആൻഡ് ഫൈനാൻസ് പ്ലീസ് നോട്ട് ദ പോയിൻ്റ് and the reserve bank of india act 1934 very very important you know rbi act 1934 provides statutory basis of the functioning of the bank and that commenced its operations on april 1st 1935 rbi nilavil vannadanna pravartanam aarambichadannaan april 1st 1935 based on a statutory provision what the reserve bank of india act 1934 and another thing is that you know after indian independence uh, the reserve bank of india transfer to public ownership act was passed in 1948 based on that the rbi was nationalized on 1st january 1949 that means at the time of beginning of rbi that is in 1935 it was a shareholders bank or rbi was a private sector bank but after independence especially on 1st january 1949 the government of india take over the rbi by giving compensation or money to all existing shareholders that is very important that is the first nationalization process of indian financial system that happened on 1st january 1949 in which rbi was converted the ownership from the private sector to public sector okay who is the owner of rbi now it is the government of india 100 percentage ownership actually retained by the government of india okay now you know the headquarter of rbi is in mumbai currently the headquarter of rbi is in mumbai but the fact is that at the time of establishment the central office of the rbi was established in calcutta but was moved to bombay only in 1937 1935 to 1937 where rbi ude headquarter evade irunu calcutta ഇപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ കൊൽക്കട്ട എന്ന് വിളിക്കുന്ന കൽക്കട്ടയിലായിരുന്നു ബട്ട് ഇൻ നയൻറ്റീൻ തേർട്ടി സെവൻ ദ ഹെഡ് ക്വാർട്ടർ ഓഫ് ആർ ബി ഐ വാസ് മൂഡ് ടു ബോംബെ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് നൌ മുംബൈ ആൻഡ് ഹു വാസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഗവർണർ ഓഫ് ആർ ബി ഐ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് റിയലി ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് സർ ഓസ്ബോൺ എയർകെൽ സ്മിത്ത് വാസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഗവർണർ ഓഫ് ആർ ബി ഐ ആൻഡ് സർ ജെയിംസ് ബി ടൈലർ വാസ് ദ സെക്കൻഡ് ഗവർണർ ഓഫ് ആർ ബി ഐ വെരി ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് പോയിൻ്റ് ആൻഡ് യു നോ ദ തേർഡ് ആർ ബി ഐ ഗവർണർ വാസ് സി ഡി ദേശ്മുഖ് 
here you know the important point is that cd deshmukh was the first indian to become the governor of rbi please not please underline that point very very important and you know our uh, former prime minister of india dr manmohan singh you know a great economist who was the only governor of the rbi to become the finance minister and prime minister of india rbi ude governor aayittu aaru vannittunde nammada manmohan singh vannittunde adeham rbi inde governor aayittulla period 1982 to 85 1982 mudal 85 vare okay and who is the uh, you know the current governor of rbi it is shakti gandha das that is shakti gandha das is the present governor of rbi rbi ude 25th governor aanu are shakti gandha das that is uh, ഇരുപത്തിനാലാമത്തെ ആർ ബി ഐൻ്റെ ഗവർണറായിരുന്നു ആര് ഊർജിത് പട്ടേൽ യുനോ അദ്ദേഹമാണ് എന്ത് ചെയ്തത് റിസൈൻ ചെയ്തു റിസൈൻ ചെയ്തതിൻ്റെ ശേഷം വന്ന ആളാണ് എന്ത് ശക്തികാന്ത ദാസ് ഊർജിത് പട്ടേലിന് മുമ്പ് ആരായിരുന്നു നമ്മുടെ രഘുറാം ഗോവിന്ദ് രാജൻ അദ്ദേഹമായിരുന്നു ഇരുപത്തി മൂന്നാമത്തെ ആർ ബി ഐ ഗവർണർ ഇരുപത്തി രണ്ടാമത്തെ ആർ ബി ഐ ഗവർണർ രഘുറാം രാജന് മുമ്പുണ്ടായിരുന്ന ഡി സുബ്ബറാവു ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ ട്വൻറ്റി സെക്കൻഡ് ഗവർണർ ഓഫ് ആർ ബി ഐ ഈസ് ഡി സുബറാവു 23rd governor of rbi was raghuram govindarajan 24th governor of rbi was urjit patel and the present governor of rbi is shakti kanta das who is the 25th 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 governor of rbi okay uh, i have already mentioned you know federal reserve system which is the most powerful central bank in the world currently that was established in 1913 1913 il aanu amerikayile federal reserve system nilavil varunnathu adinte ippoyathe chief jerome h powell aanu so idinte oru valare interesting aayittulla oru point undu 2013 that was the 100th birth anniversary of federal reserve system founding year 1913 adu kazhinja 100 varsham thegeyna വർഷമായിരുന്നു ടു തൗസൻഡ് തേർട്ടീൻ ആ സമയത്ത് യാനറ്റ് എല്ലൻ എ ലേഡി ആൻഡ് ഷീ വാസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വുമൺ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് യു നോ ഷി ക്രിയേറ്റഡ് ആൻഡ് ഹിസ്റ്ററി വൈ ഹൗ ആൻഡ് യാനറ്റ് എല്ലൻ വാസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വുമൺ ടു ഹെഡ് എ മേജർ സെൻട്രൽ ബാങ്ക് എനി വെയർ ഇൻ ദ വേൾഡ് ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ ഫെഡറൽ റിസർവ് സിസ്റ്റത്തിൻ്റെ നൂറാമത്തെ വാർഷികത്തിൽ യാനറ്റ് എല്ലൻ ജാനറ്റ് എല്ലൻ ആദ്യമായിട്ട് ഒരു വനിത ലോകത്തിൽ തന്നെ ആദ്യമായിട്ട് ഒരു കേന്ദ്ര ബാങ്കിൻ്റെ ചീഫായിട്ട് മാറി പ്രസിഡന്റ് ചീഫ് ആരാണ് ഫെഡറൽ റിസർവ് സിസ്റ്റത്തിന് ഇപ്പോൾ ഉള്ളത് ജെറോം എച്ച് പവൽ ഓക്കെ പ്ലീസ് നോട്ട് ദാറ്റ് പോയിന്റ് ആൻഡ് ഹു ആക്ച്വലി അപ്പോയിന്റ് ആർ ബി ഐ ഗവർണർ ആൻഡ് വട്ട് ഈസ് ദ ഫോർമാലിറ്റി ഫോർ ദ റിമൂവൽ ഓഫ് ആർ ബി ഐ ഗവർണർ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ വെരി ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് യു നോ ദ ആർ ബി ഐ ഗവർണർ ഈസ് അപ്പോയിന്റഡ് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് നോട്ട് ഇലക്റ്റഡ് ഓക്കെ the power to appoint is granted solely to the central government under section 8 of the rbi act 1934 okay got it rbi act 1934 le yettamatha section prakaram government of india central government aanu endu cheynathu rbi governor appoint cheynathu okay similarly the governor can be removed by the government governor pirichu vidunnathu olivaakunnathu maarana government aanu adinte formality endana the governor can be removed from office any time by the central government that is very important governor ude sevanam madhi ningal poi kolu nu paranjal aaru repovanam rbi governor ude term kariyum okay vera formalities on the impeachment process o angane lok sabhayile rajya sabhayile pass ak angane onnilla whenever the government say you can go then the governor can move okay that is we can simply say it that is it suffices to say that rbi governor holds office at the pleasure of the central government okay now what about the management of rbi the management of rbi is vested with the central board of directors please underline that term central board of directors that you know consists of 21 members 21 അംഗങ്ങളുള്ള സെൻട്രൽ ബോർഡ് ഓഫ് ഡയറക്ടേഴ്സ് ആണ് ആർ ബി ഐൻ്റെ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ മാനേജ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ സെൻട്രൽ ബോർഡ് ഓഫ് ഡയറക്ടേഴ്സ് കംപ്രൈസ് ഓഫ് ടു ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഒഫീഷ്യൽസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഒഫീഷ്യൽ ഡയറക്ടേഴ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ഗവർണർ ഹു ഈസ് അപ്പോയിൻറ്റഡ് ഓർ നോമിനേറ്റഡ് ഫോർ എ പീരീഡ് ഓഫ് ഫോർ ഓർ ഫൈവ് ഇയേഴ്സ് അലോങ് വിത്ത് ഫോർ ഡെപ്യൂട്ടി ഗവർണേഴ്സ് അവർ വിളിക്കുന്ന പേരാണ് ഒഫീഷ്യൽ ഡയറക്ടേഴ്സ
and non-official directors that is you know 10 directors from various fields and also two government officials and also four uh, members from each local board that is uh, four directors nominated by the central government one from each of the local board central bank has four local board and in the uh, head office where another local board where on the Chennai learner second one located at Kolkata third one in Mumbai and fourth one in New Delhi please understand RBA has four local board that is headquartered at Chennai Kolkata Mumbai and New Delhi so four directors that is also nominated by the central government one from Chennai and another from Kolkata third from Mumbai and fourth one from New Delhi okay so we can simply say the RBI board is a body comprising officials from the central bank and the government of India including officials nominated by the government that is the board consists of official directors who include please note the governor and up to four deputy governors now only deputy governors were our and non-official directors who include up to 10 directors from various fields and two government officials represent the government's interest okay and one director from each of four local boards of the RBI that is we have discussed and the total members is 21 currently the 10 directors nominated by the government hold office for four years and the government government officials have to hold a term on the RBI board as long as the government sees fit okay now the governor and the deputy governors hold office for five years okay and are eligible for reappointment okay RBI governor vere office hold a term government where notification program reappointment but the term of the governor may be fixed by the government at the time of his appointment for example, maybe uh, seen from different newspapers that Urjit Patel and Rogram Rajan were appointed for three years. Though a governor can get five year tenure. Anjuvarsham Karavadi and Dingilum, our appointed say the Ethra Varshatek, Moon Varshatek and other Karini, Uri Varsham extended the Gurkum, other Karini, where Uri Varsham would extend the Gurkum, Pakshe, Rogram Rajan, Moon Varsham Karini, extension Gurthila, they have. Term of Karinu, Pui, Urjit Patela, the ethnic term completed, they have resigned Chedu, resigned Chay the Poana, and they do the Shakti Ganda Dasa, RBI Governor, right? One of them. We know that points. Okay. Governor and Deputy Governors are eligible for reappointment or extension that we have discussed. The Governor is the Chief Executive of the Bank and the Chairman of the Board of Directors. The Central Board must meet at least six times in a year and not less than once in a quarter. The financial year of RBI that is also interesting. What is the financial year of India? That is from 1st April to 31st March. Pakshe, RBI in the financial year that is start from 1st July of the calendar year to 30th June of the next calendar year. That will change where you can't do it. For example, the current financial year of RBI, you know, that is start from 1st July 2019 to 30th June 2020. Please note that point. Now, you know, uh, we can just conclude, you know, we have discussed the central bank, its definition and also an outline of Reserve Bank of India. And I hope you got a uh, number of points and facts and also some insights upon the working of the central bank of the country. And the uh, next topic I will upload, you know, under part two for banking two, that is what are the major functions of central bank. That is also very very important topic and uh, you can also wait for that video and uh, you can share uh, this video and subscribe my channel now and you can also visit it to my website now and you can also refer to my book banking 2 that is also available in english as well as in malayalam thank you have a nice day